A northern Kentucky family wants to see change happen in Ohio after their son lost his life in a deadly collision. And today his parents look back at a life that ended far too soon while also thinking of ways to make the road safer for everyone. WLWT News 5's Todd Dykes is live tonight with more. Hi, Todd. Hi, Sheree. This is a story about a highway crash and a beloved young man. Whether it was on a soccer field at Thomas More or NKU, Zachary Leffler's mom says her son embraced life and learning with great energy, intelligence, and kindness. But that all came to a sudden end eight months ago when a semi hit Zach's pickup truck head on. Zachary was an extraordinary person. Shannon Ponder lost her son, 25-year-old Zachary Leffler, last December when police say a semi crossed a highway south of Cleveland and caused a deadly collision. Just a few months before, Zach's future was in full focus. Around this time last year, I began planning the proposal that my son wanted me to be a part of for his beautiful fiance. Two months later, three months later, he was just gone. Today, Ponder and Zach's dad, Joe Leffler, have more questions than answers when it comes to the crash that claimed their son's life. If somebody kills somebody and they're driving a truck, should they not have responsibility? Should there not be an action that is greater than a common car accident? On Monday, the semi-driver, David Pluidzi, pleaded guilty to two misdemeanor counts. A Mahoning County judge ordered the 54-year-old from New Jersey to spend the next 30 days on house arrest. We believe the evidence will be that this should have been a felony and not a misdemeanor. Attorney Sean Williams says Pluidzi did not have to undergo a toxicology or thorough drug test after the collision. We believe he had medical things going on that he shouldn't have been driving. Now Zach's family wants Ohio lawmakers to require tox tests whenever there's a fatal crash involving a semi. And they want transportation inspectors to help local police investigate the scene. If you have a DOT officer from the state of Ohio, this investigation would have been done differently, and we believe the outcome would have been different. Now, Zach Leffler's parents have filed a civil lawsuit against the driver of that semi, David Pluizzi, and also the trucking company involved, that's RFS Group, based in uh, Illinois. Attorney Sean Williams, he plans to subpoena, Plu subpoena Pluizzi's daily driving logs, also as medical records, to better understand what was happening at the time of last year's deadly crash. He thinks that will lead to a dialogue with Ohio lawmakers to make changes to the way that deadly crashes involving semis are handled. Reporting live downtown tonight, Todd Dykes, WWT News.